When I was a child, um, God told me stories. Said the pestilence turned men's faces inside out. Made them grow limbs where none should be. But the world was nearly lost in its wake. And she prayed. The Sarum would never need to return. We should turn back while we still can. It's an island, not a fairy tale. <sighs> this is a fool's errand. There's no sum worth bringing the likes of them to shore. I thought I'd see a set of one here for myself. I heard you were all seven feet tall and big as oaks. Don't look so tough to me. Bad idea to let you on board. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, that's close enough. Just keep your distance. There's a dark about you and I don't want any part of it. Set of adventure to Sacra. Then the rumors must be true. The pestilence has returned. I don't know whether you follow the sickness or it follows you, and I don't care to know. Just Dasha families, always one meal away from starving, and a bunch of runes that mean nothing to no one. Strutting about like you're the only killer on board. Difference between you and me, I don't just kill sick people. Keep I mean, I would if I'll there was any no pain with you. <laughs> These fools think they know who you are and where we're headed, but they've got no idea. No good will come of this. Should have burned the island to the ground a thousand years ago and never come back. We've wrecked and ravaged our way across half of the Arshan Sea, and you're scared of a hunk of rock. I pray the captain has the good sense to turn us around. A little space, eh? Not just the weather we have to contend with. Plenty of mainland ships go missing off Sacra shores. We are not the only ones on these waters. So, you're supposed to be special or something? <laughs> Leave him be, nurse. How about you let me be a serum too, huh? Bet that fancy glove would look just fine on me. <laughs> you greedy bugger. You sell it sooner than save an infant. <laughs> like they're any different. They eat, they shit, they die. Same as the rest of us. Hey, quit trying to edge your way in. Ain't even enough for us. Hey, quit trying...
captain wants to work with you up above. Don't mind the others. It, it's just their way. You go speak with the captain and I'll check on your quarters. You put the men on edge, Sarah. We've trafficked in people before, but, well, I won't be sorry to be out of these waters, with you off my ship. I was paid to deliver you to Sakura in one piece, and I will. But get to your quarters, and stay out of our way till landfall. Walt will let you below decks. Island's just up ahead through this damned storm. Get to your quarters. You'll know you can come out when you stop moving. of this. Two of washing the decks, four more in the rigging, another five at the helm, and a captain! Just like that. Hey, you. A little help with the meal? Fetch me the mushrooms from the shelf and herbs from the table. I have to keep stirring, or I'll go from bum to ashes. Seawater and a lot of sawdust. <laughs> sure, you can eat a mushroom in a pinch, but nothing beats a cooked meal. Here, have some for yourself. Our ship might seem thick with sinners, 
But the church welcomes all. Criminals, heretics, even the Dasher, even you. Keep your eyes off our cargo. Unless you want one plucked out. You ain't the only thing we're hauling. But at least the rest of our cargo stays where you put it. You're just another job, as far as I'm concerned. The men think you're some kind of legend. Know what all legends have in common? <laughs> They're dead. Myself. Real nice like. Don't fret if you can't sleep. First few weeks aboard, I, I, I couldn't catch a wink. What's not what my mom named me, but, well, she's gone now. And the men say I look more like a ward anyway.
You shouldn't be here, Sarum! It's too late for fairy tales! Too late for any of us. So, it's true. The king is dead. Long live the king. He was a great man, and a good friend. I, I will mourn him. We will all mourn him. Your father's soul is at rest now, King Magnus. The people look to you for strength. I offer my condolences, and my counsel. As I did for your father for many The Great years. Pestilence has returned, Lord Bowers. Uh, yes, I have heard the rumors. They're not rumors. Even now, it ravages the island of Sacra just off our own shores, turning their men and women into unspeakable things. The Pestilence is a punishment upon those who have lost their faith. Is it now? How convenient. You question the church? You're not the church, Madrigal. You're just the tip of its spear. Enough. Whatever the cause of this sickness, I cannot allow it to spread. My father has been weak for many years. I will begin my reign doing what he could not. My king, you are... grieving. I must recommend against any... It's already done. Tomorrow, Madrigal Selene and her Inquisition will set sail for Sacra. I promise we will cleanse the island of this wickedness. Our new king's faith in the church is well placed. Our king's faith was never in question. Ellsworth is a strong ruler, your grace. Sacra will recover. No. Sacra will be reborn. This is my responsibility to the kingdom. With God's hands, we will reach into every corner of the island and bring it like a newborn babe. Screaming into the light. 